AirGuard seed breaks help you achieve superior seed and fertilizer placement to improve your yield potential. This instructional video will help you install AirGuard correctly on your air seeder for optimum performance. Here are the tools you will need. A hose cutter or strong utility knife. A flathead screwdriver or power drill with nut driver. Two stainless steel hose clamps for each seed break which are supplied with the AirGuard seed brakes. A silicone applicator gun. All-weather silicone, which must be rain-ready and sun- and freeze-proof. A six-inch long piece of air seeder hose. And a wind meter. Start by choosing one air drill hose at the center of the drill to run your initial airspeed tests. This will determine the air guard settings of each additional hose. There are two locations along the hose that the seed brake can be installed, at the manifolds or near the opener. If you install air guard at the manifolds, it is important to note that longer hose lengths or sagging may cause plugging issues with lower air speeds. This install location is only recommended on drill widths less than 40 feet. For most drills, we recommend placing air guard approximately two feet above the opener. Ensure that the air guard does not interfere with the trip mechanism or hit the bottom of the drill frame when the trip is engaged. To install the seed brake, mark the hose and use your hose cutter to cut the seed tube on a straight perpendicular line at the location that the seed brake will be installed. Insert the hose into the entry port of the seed brake. Place the hose clamp around the hose and entry port slot and firmly fasten. Install a six inch piece of hose onto the exit port of the air guard for accurate wind speed measurement. Once the air guard seed brake is firmly fastened within the hose line, turn the air drill fan on. Set the airspeed to roughly 90% of the fan capacity. This will allow you some adjustment later on with the overall airspeed of your drill. Make sure that the fan on your air cart has been running for at least 10 to 15 minutes to warm the hydraulic oil and ensure more consistent airflow measurements. Now take your wind meter and measure the wind speed exiting the air guard. Note that sample airflow settings are available to get you started. Visit the support section on airguardproducts.com to review a chart example. To change the wind speed coming out of the air guard, the washers on the exhaust port need to be adjusted. To increase wind speed, unscrew the exhaust port cap, remove the washers and replace the cap. This allows less air to escape. To decrease wind speed, unscrew the exhaust port cap and add washers. This allows more air to escape out the exhaust port. Once a satisfactory wind speed is achieved, note the measurement and use this as a guide to set the other hoses with air guard to the same wind speed. Note that for most air seeders, the first seed brake is fully exhausted or has all of the washers installed. This is because tubes on the center of the drill typically have the fastest flow. Finish installing air guard seed brakes on all of the remaining hoses. Adjust each air guard seed brake to match the first measurement. Plus or minus 2.5 miles per hour is an acceptable variance from one hose to another. Once you have set each seed brake to the optimum airflow, complete the installation by connecting the lower hose from the opener to the air guard exit port and fasten with a hose clamp. Run product through your entire air seeder system out onto the ground to check that product flow is consistent on each opener. There should be no seed mounts and product should fall gently to the ground. A good rule of thumb is for the seeds to come out one inch away from the back of the opener if you're using a rear facing opener. Adjust the washers on the exhaust ports of the seed brakes if adjustment is needed based on the product flow. Overall adjustment can also be made with the fan speed. 
When you're satisfied with the performance of your air drill, back the cap off a few threads on each unit. Place a small dab of silicone on the threads, then tighten the cap once again into the silicone. This will ensure that each air guard cap will not come loose during operation. Congratulations! You are now ready to seed with the added protection of air guard seed break technology. For more information or support on using AirGuard, visit our support page at airguardproducts.com or call 1-604-744-0070. Thank you for choosing AirGuard.